Good evening and welcome to evening worship here at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. And it's a blessing to have you gathered with us uh, for our time of, uh, of uh, song and prayer together. It was uh, wonderful to see so many of you at our outdoor worship service uh, last Sunday. And um, I've been keeping my uh, eye and ear to the, the weather reports. And it's looking a little bit iffy for this Sunday. But uh, just uh, keep tuned to uh, whatever email blast it, the church might send out or messages on the church's uh, Facebook page and website. Uh, to find out uh, if we are indeed going to be outside uh, this Sunday or we're going to have to make other arrangements to have our worship time together. So friends in Christ, let's begin our time together by singing Alleluia, Jesus Lives. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being and set light in the sky to govern the night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures, we give you glory through your Son, Jesus the Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting of Oh, 
reading of Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him, his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the trumpet sound. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our devotion this evening is written by uh, Pastor Ed Ray. Pastor Ray writes, In the Hebrew, the word used for praise is alleluia. This word is in the imperative form, which means that praising God is not a suggestion or an invitation but a command to every one of us. As we read through this psalm, we see that this praise we are commanded to give is to be done energetically, with voices and dance, with tambourines, and on stringed instruments. We might be tempted to think that if we don't have dancing skills or can't play an instrument, that we are excused from participation. But there is only one group that is excluded from praise. And if you fit into this group, then feel free not to join in. What group, you may ask? It's implied in the very last verse, everything that has breath. So if you are not breathing, then you may be excused from praising God but everyone else is commanded to join in, whether you feel like it or not. In 1741, an unknown 57-year-old musician named George was broke and in a severe depression. When he heard a knock at his front door, it was his friend, an unemployed, an unknown poet. The poet shared a poem with George that he had entitled A Sacred Oratorio. The poem was good. In fact, it was so good that it drove George into seclusion. In time, his family became worried about him because he would not answer his door. They left food for him at the front stoop. But most of the time, he left it untouched. Through the window, George was seen many times to jump up from his piano and wave his hands and shout Alleluia. Finally, after 24 days, George emerged from his self-imposed seclusion and gave the words, gave the words to this poem, gave it to the world, and the words were the Hallelujah Chorus. George Frederick Hendel wrote Hendel's Messiah after first personally experiencing the worship and praise of God that his peace proclaimed. Handel was a man of few words, but he later wrote about the experience of writing this music with this short sentence. I think I did see all heaven before me and the great God himself. From one gifted person's poem of personal, intimate worship and praise of God Almighty, came a masterpiece of praise that has moved generations since to join in the praising of God. 
Hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord God, we say to you along with countless other believers down the hallways of time, Hallelujah. And with this word, we offer our simple praise to you, O God Most High. Amen. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these, in these last, last days, God, God has spoken to us by the, by the Son. Son. Amen. Proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebearers, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul, my soul proclaims, proclaims the greatness of the Lord, of the Lord. my spirit my rejoices in God, God my Savior. Savior. In peace let us pray to the Lord, for the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvest, that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord, giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints. We commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus to Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. People of God, whatever wilderness the Spirit has brought you to, walk in boldness as a beloved child of God. Walk in peace under the shelter of the Most High and walk in faith knowing that Christ walks with you. Thanks be to God.